welcome to the Best Buy Plugin Vlog. My name is Ray, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Canon Selfie Compact Photo Printer. If you're looking for a portable printer that can handle high quality photos, you found it. The Canon Selfie is small but packs a big punch, and it has the option to be both wireless with your phone and cordless for a power source. For at home print jobs, compact printers often seem like a preferable choice. But just like other small electronics, they have their purpose and can be awesome at it. Portable printers, this one is small enough to fit into a tote bag, are easy to set up and take up less desk space than traditional ones. If you're looking to only print photos, something like the selfie will get the job done just as well as a large desktop printer, but it'll leave a significantly smaller desk footprint. They're not only a great choice for portability, but for space saving and small living spaces too. And honestly, they're good for large living spaces. Um, the selfie is just kind of generally really cute. It's easier on the eyes than a traditional printer and it's really simple to tuck into a cupboard as soon as you're done with it. I can see it being a hit with home decor fanatics just as much as with people who live in small apartments, especially in this gorgeous white finish. Each selfie print is postcard sized at four by six inches as a 300 by 300 DPI resolution. In the box of the selfie is a power source and cords, an ink cartridge, a loading tray, and photo paper enough for five photos. So make sure to stock up on paper and ink when you make your purchase. Kits are available separately from the printer and each sheet prints at a speed of about 47 seconds. Paper and ink, to my knowledge, are not available separately, but only paired together. The selfie comes with a corded power source, but a battery pack is sold separately for those who need the option of a cordless printer. It powers over 50 prints on a single charge. Setup of the selfie, including installing the ink cartridge in this weird little paper tray, took less than 15 minutes from opening the box. If I hadn't been reading the instructions simultaneously and had actually prepared for my life, I am certain that I could have done it in under five. The selfie is very much made with portability in mind, and that includes the setup process. The Canon Selfie prints through a memory card or USB flash drive, as well as through the Canon Print Inkjet and Canon Selfie apps. If you have a Mac or other Apple device, you can print at the Selfie using AirPrint. I particularly like the Canon Selfie app, which is really easy to use and lets users print photos from their mobile while on the go. That includes social photos. If you upload an image to Facebook or Instagram, you can print from there. For those of us who are sitting on the tech curve but aren't quite at the peak, I found the easiest way to use the selfie was by connecting through the app over Wi-Fi. You'll need to register the printer on each device that you want to use it with, but after you pair it once, your device will save your settings for you. The pairing isn't difficult either. The screen on the selfie walks you through the process after you press the on-body Wi-Fi button. These prints are finished in four layers, as you just saw. Yellow, then red, then two final processes for color. Each piece of paper goes through the printer and out the back end four times in order to complete the process. The picture quality of the selfie is fantastic for an at-home printer. The photos look so good, as if they came straight from a print shop. So, if you're looking for a printer that prints high-quality photos on the go in a matter of seconds, then I would absolutely recommend the Canon Selfie 1300. Check out my full review at the Best Buy plugin blog, and as always, thank you very much for watching.